I've used TuneCore for a very long time. I'm on my account right now and you can see that my first song was distributed through them in January 2009. That means coming up on 11 years. That is crazy. Uh, I've made about $750,000 through this account. So you can obviously tell that I'm a fan of TuneCore. They mean a lot to me as a distributor. And in this video, I kind of want to give a review of some of the things I like about using TuneCore as a distributor. So TuneCore has been around for a very long time. I've used them so consistently for all this time because first off, I love the fact that when you use TuneCore, they don't take any percentage of your sales. So a lot of these distributors, a lot of the, these other ones, when you release a song through them, they'll take a percentage of your revenue. So if you sell $100 worth of songs through iTunes, or if you have $100 worth of Spotify streams, they may keep 15 of those dollars as their payment. Now TuneCore does not do that, and I love that. That's part of the reason I so consistently have used them for the past decade, because I hate when stores or when distributors take a percentage of my sales. That's my least favorite thing ever. I also like with TuneCore that they're very easy to use. It's a very seamless process, very seamless UI. Um, it's a very, very easy distributor to get your songs into stores. They also distribute to all the stores you want to be in. I've never felt like I was missing out on a store when I used TuneCore to distribute. Um, I'm going to go through all the stores they hit in a minute, but I just that's kind of one of the big selling points for me. Um, another thing that I love is TuneCore is very good at giving you analytics for your songs. This is something I've noticed other distributors have struggled with, um, but like when you go on TuneCore site, you can filter this so well. So you can see my whole lifetime with them the past 11 years. Here's my total streams, total downloads, equaling $750,000. And then you can see every month the kind of sales that I get through them. You can filter it by store. So I can say like, how many sales did I get on iTunes in the month of June 2016? Um, or you can say, how many Spotify streams did I get in Indonesia and in 2017 altogether. I don't know. You can really filter it however you want. I mean, you can check all these boxes and check the countries and I just think that is amazing. There's not many distributors. I can't think of anyone who comes close um, in that regard as far as the analytics go. So I'm a big fan of that. And you can download this, download the report and filter through it. But I think that is very, very helpful. Um, I'm not the only artist who has consistently used them for so long. I know that TuneCore, I read this on their site, their artists have made over $2 billion by using TuneCore and using and getting their songs into stores, which is insane because I don't think any distributor, any other distributor even comes close to that. So they definitely have a loyal following, a loyal user base, and um, I'm part of that. So let me show you a little bit of the site and um, kind of what you can do on here, what it's like. So here's the analytics, like I said, where you can see all your sales and filter, and it's very intuitive and self-explanatory. So I'm not going to go too much into the weeds on this, but I'm a big fan of that. So let's say you want to add a new single. Now, like I mentioned before, TuneCore does not take any of your backend sales. So when you make that $100, they're not going to keep any of that. That's all your money. The way that they get paid is you pay them to put your songs in stores. So if you want to release a new single, it costs $9.99 per year per song. So I'm going to release a song right now, hypothetically, that's called Love Song. That's very creative. Actually, I have an original song called Love Song. So. I'm very creative, right? Um, my name, Landon Austin, the primary genre, we're gonna say it's French pop, uh, children's music, um, the release date, December, we'll do the end of December, year 2020. And then this, I'm gonna leave that the same, the time, create my single. Oh, does this song have explicit lyrics? No. Does it have an explicit version of the track? No. Save my single. Okay, so now that we've created the details of the song, we need to add the stores. Now this is very intuitive, it's super easy. I normally just check this box, deliver to all current digital stores, and you'll see that they hit iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, Amazon Music, YouTube Music, Pandora, Deezer, etc. all these. TikTok, that's a good one, um, all these stores. And then if you want to, you can do the store automator. So anytime that TuneCore adds new stores that they distribute to, it'll automatically release your song to those stores. 
Um, it's a one-time $10 fee and it covers you for life. So anytime those new stores are added, it'll just add um, the songs to those stores. So I'm gonna leave that checked. I'm gonna pay for that. Great, and then down here, you're gonna put the songwriter. Now I'm the songwriter. I'm also the main artist. Uh, this is not an instrumental. And then right here, you can decide where um, in the song will be used for TikTok. So let's say, because TikTok, I think only allows you to have like one minute of the song. It's like 30 seconds to a minute. So the start time of my TikTok version of the song, we'll say the chorus starts at exactly the one minute marker. So that means when you go on TikTok and you use my song in a TikTok video, it'll um, play the song from the one minute mark moving on. So let's do that. Great. You can do a pre-order. I'm not gonna do a pre-order. And then you have to add an artwork. This is very easy. I don't really have an artwork right now, but you just do upload artwork and hit save and continue, but I don't have that for now. It's very easy though. That'll fill it in. And then all you gotta do is you need to buy your credit. And here you can add YouTube sound recording revenue. This is where they collect the money from the song anytime it's used in a YouTube video. So if someone wants to use your song without your permission and puts in their video, uh, this will enable you to run ads on it and collect that money. And um, that's another earning pool that you can tap into. They also have this thing called TuneCore Social. Now I've never personally done this before, but if that's something that's intriguing to you, you can do that as well. Typically, I'll just do the single distribution credit, hit proceed to checkout, pay, and then I'm done. And then on my release date, the song will be live in stores. So it's very easy. Another thing that I enjoy about TuneCore, again, this comes back to the analytics, but I like their daily trend reports. So if you go to money and reports, you can see how you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. You can see um, how you're doing on a weekly basis, how you're doing on YouTube um, and all your sales and just further kind of break down the analytics behind your, your sales. And I'm like a really big numbers guy. I love to read that stuff. So I think that's cool about TuneCore. And the last thing I wanna mention, they have other features, but these are the main things that I use. Um, video monetization, Facebook and Instagram Reels. When you go in here, you can check these. And when you do that, that enables you to monetize your song anytime it's used on Facebook or Instagram, kind of puts it in that pool of songs that people can use um, in their video content on those platforms. So I like to check the song when I can. Um, it's just another revenue stream. I really like doing that. I like monetizing my songs everywhere that I possibly can. And I like the TuneCore enables me to get my songs onto Facebook and Instagram and to monetize that. But that is it for this video. If you wanna check out TuneCore, make sure you use the link in my description. That'll save you 20% on your next album or your next single. They even do ringtones. So that'll save you some money on distributing ringtones. Uh, but check it out, use the link down there. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.